Welcome to Enamored Risks. I don't know what I'm getting into with this. This isn't unlike some of the games I've played on here, though admittedly not all of them. I haven't played this one before. I haven't looked that much into this. I literally only know it's a visual novel, and it was free on Steam. And I play a lot of visual novels, so much so that in fact I think I am dedicating this month to visual novels, if all goes well. So, uh, let's go. Hmm. <laughs> phone, phone. Where'd I stick it? I sit up, rubbing the sleep from my eyes. It's too early for this. Where did you go? Aha! Grabbing my phone from the floor, I pull it off the charger and punch in my passcode. I don't even have to unlock it to know what these texts are. No one texts me in the first place. But even if they did, it would never be this early. Another text pops up across the top of my screen as my phone vibrates in my hand, and I tap it, opening streams of text from both of my parents. It's the usual things that I don't want to answer. What are my grades? How many classes am I taking? There's only one right answer, and it isn't the truth. Though, even the right answer isn't the answer they want. Not that I've ever managed to figure out exactly what that is. But I can't keep dodging their questions like I have been. I mean, I can, but it's going to get me in trouble. Which feels a little pathetic. I'm an adult now, aren't I? Or, I'm supposed to be, though I don't feel like one. But it's not like I've ever been treated like one, either. I send back a quick good morning, hoping that gets them to stop for just a minute so I can back read and make sure I'm not missing anything that they'll complain about later. I don't see anything new, so I start tapping out a reply to them. Twelve measly credit hours, and no, I don't know my grades. I won't know them until midterms and finals. I'm not sure if it's a blessing or a curse that my professors won't update grades on a more frequent basis. On the one hand, I'm not obsessing from week to week. On the other hand, I have no idea from week to week. I add in a final note that I'm going to be in classes all day and that I love them before muting my text notifications. I put my phone face down on the bed for a moment, getting up for the day. It's before my alarm would have gone off, but I might as well get out of bed. I can get some more studying in, maybe. Something so I don't feel like 12 hours of classes isn't enough. Oh, oh, they posted a new story to their Instagram. There are way, way too many terms for all the things in the human body. I'm pretty good at memorization, but this is too much. I can feel my eyes glazing over. Where is this? Looks like an old house, maybe? Yeah, but where? Why do I have to talk about this now? It's so distracting. I guess it's my fault for finding it interesting enough to be distracted. Hmm, well, it's not on campus. Of course, Sherlock. If we had any abandoned churches on campus, people would have had a drunken party in it by now. It's not something I could do, exploring abandoned buildings like these people do. If my parents didn't kill me, I think I would probably get myself hurt, and then my parents would kill me. So, same end result. It's reckless and stupid. Do you want to see if we can find it after class? It feels like it's bad to talk about that right this minute. I don't have time anyway. These muscle terms aren't going to memorize themselves. Oh geez, there are too many muscles. There are entirely too many muscles. Class starts in about 10 minutes. I'll focus on this until then. The stool squeaks across the floor, snapping me out of my concentration. Hey. You're early. Usually, Finn slides in right before the professor shuts the door. Oh, I haven't been to sleep yet. I look at my watch. How long have you been awake? Uh, about 22 hours now, maybe? I'll sleep after this. I didn't want to miss. I don't really know what to do with this information. Is he telling me he usually oversleeps and that's why he's almost late to class? Why was he up all night? I don't have a chance to inquire before the professor shows up, though, so I decide I'll take notes for him. He's pretty nice. I like him. Usually, having to have a partner or do any kind of group work is my least favorite thing. Usually, my partners never do their part, or they do it so badly I end up redoing it anyway. Finn isn't bad, though. He keeps up on the material for the most part, and he's easy to get along with. He's only a little strange. I can't imagine having a wardrobe full of nothing but black clothes, but I've never seen him wear a color. Honestly, I wouldn't have paid him much attention if we hadn't ended up accidental lab partners, but I can't say I have any complaints. I steal a glance at him as the professor begins his lecture, and Finn looks like he's already fading. I think he might have been better off skipping class. Not that I've ever come to class on too little sleep. I don't think I have the capacity to skip class. 
I hate that my stomach drops at, at, at the thought alone. I hate the thought of looking at my phone later. Oh man, I... It was a struggle for me to skip classes in college. Oh no. Okay, cool. Call me out, game. Like I expected, Finn fell asleep a few minutes into class, and is still asleep, actually. I'm not sure if it's that the professor didn't notice or that he didn't care. Or maybe he did, and Finn's gonna get docked for it later. All the more reason I'm glad I took some extra, extra thorough notes. Though, this isn't quite legible yet. I, excuse me. I give him a careful shake, hoping that it isn't, hoping that isn't rude. Ooh, didn't mean to. It turns out if you right-click, it opens the menu. That's nice to know, but I didn't mean to do that. I feel like it would be worse to not wake him up, though. He said he was sleeping after this, but he should do that in a bed. Hmm. He vaguely stirs, and I find myself thinking that he's kind of cute, long eyelashes, and what looks like some smudged eyeliner. I don't think it occurred to me before college that guys would wear makeup willingly, but he does, and it looks nice. I shouldn't be staring. I give him another shake, and his eyes finally open. He sits up, blinking blearily and rubbing his face. That wasn't supposed to happen. Ugh. Well, I took notes for you, so it could be worse. Though, I'll probably need to rewrite them for you. I show him my notes, and he looks over them, blinking the sleep from his eyes before he starts laughing. I really appreciate the thought, but I think you're right. Is this even English? It should be. It's the only language I know. I'm not sure. Maybe you unlock something in your subconscious. I can't help but laugh a little bit at that, tucking my notebook away. That's absurd. I can type these up and email them to you, if that works. It does. I appreciate it. It's not a problem. I was going to type them anyway. Anyway, I have another class to get to. See you! Checking my watch, I probably shouldn't have dawdled. But more than that, I think I shouldn't have scheduled my classes quite so close together. By the time I get back to my apartment, my phone has too many texts again. I really don't want to read them. But I do, because what else am I going to do? Ignore them? That'll go over well, I'm sure. Reading over them properly, I feel pretty bad. I should have kept up my course load and powered through it. Though it's bold of them to think that I'm doing anything extracurricular or romantic. The last time I had a boyfriend, I think I was 14. I really don't like it when they're mad at me, though. I take a breath and type out an apology. I'll make it up to them next term. They're paying for my classes, so it's the least I can do. I don't want to disappoint them. Hmm, chemistry! Um, no, maybe not. Yeah, it's organic chemistry. Okay. Tonight, Finn looks much more awake than he did in class before. Which is good, because we need to get this lab report done, and I could do it myself, but I don't particularly want to. Aside from that, this is one of my few chances to socialize at all. I like Finn well enough, and I'd like to get to know him better. He's pretty reserved, though. Hmm. I don't think I've ever heard him mention a hobby or anything that he's into. We really only talk about stuff for class, which doesn't say much about anyone. I feel like I've forgotten how to talk to people, though. How do you talk to someone about something that isn't schoolwork? Um... Do you have any plans after this? That's a start, I guess. Finn stops what he's doing for a moment and shrugs. Nothing in particular. Do you? I thought all you did was study. Not all the time. Just most of the time. <laughs> Part of me feels a little offended that he's making fun of me, but he's smiling and I think maybe he doesn't mean it in a mean way. Besides, it's not like he's wrong. Can't get mad at the truth. I do other things. Like? I like to try my hand at music composition sometimes, on the computer. Reading, too. Walks are nice if the weather's good. I like walking around the part of town with all the old houses. They're so much more interesting than anything built nowadays. They have a lot more personality to them. What about you? He's quiet for a long moment, finishing up the question we were working on before answering. I do a lot of outdoor stuff, I guess. I used to do rock wall climbing. This is not what I expected from someone that looks like... this. Is there a reason you're staring? Oh! Oh, I just... I didn't take you as the type to do a lot of physical stuff. What did you expect? That I haunted campus looking for my next victim? No! Not quite that dramatic, but that's closer to what I was imagining. I don't know, maybe you, like, stayed in more. He laughs and shakes his head. Nah, I like being outside. During the day? Sure, but not without SPF 100 sunscreen. Oh. That explains how you can be an outdoorsy person and still be this pale. 
Do you know how to answer the next question? Um, let's see. He doesn't seem interested in telling me anything else, so we focus on getting the lab report done. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's nice. There's something sad about how much stimulation I get out of doing this lab report with him. It takes me a moment to realize what I'm hearing beyond the music from my headphones. My studying focus broken now. The screen on my phone says it's mom. I wonder what she wants. It's the same as always. Anytime they ask me what I'm doing, it's never because they want to know what I'm up to. I lean back in my chair and tap out a reply to them, letting them know I'm studying. Another text comes through, and this one is a little different from usual. What am I doing on the weekend? I don't know yet. Is she worried about me? Both my parents are always worried about me, technically, but not in a way that feels particularly loving. I'll tell her I don't have plans, see where that gets me. The typing notification appears on my phone screen after I send it. I hope you blocked in time for studying. Really? My hand hurts. Shaking my head, I stop squeezing my phone in a death grip and turn it off. I don't ever do enough, do I? If it's not studying, then there's no point to anything that I do. They haven't asked me about friends since I told them I didn't have any months ago. I don't know what to do. I know they love me, but what does that even mean? Do they care about me, or do they just care about my success? I can't tell. I've never been able to. Turning off my phone, I drop it on the floor. They're never going to be happy with me. Shocking no one, least of all myself, I spent my weekend sleeping and studying. Not that I have anyone to shock, but it's fine, I'm going to do great on this test. And then, study some more? It never ends. Look! Look! In front of me, a couple of my classmates are excited about something. How did they get so high up? I don't know, I think this is the old cathedral. You know, the one you pass but on the highway if you're coming from the north in from the north side of campus? No, that can't be it. Roof's the wrong color. Hmm. I wonder who runs it. They'd have to be pretty fearless to get up on the roof, right? Or stupid. Both? Both. Probably someone on the football team or something like that. I watch these videos on YouTube and it takes a ton of work to get up to some of those places. May- Um, excuse me? Huh? What is it? This is the most impulsive thing I've done in who knows how long. I can feel myself losing my resolve already, but no. I won't. What are you, uh, talking about exactly? With the old cathedral? Oh, there's some urbex group that goes to school here. They post a lot of photos and videos on their to their Instagram account. Yeah, see, like this. They show me a photo of a steeply inclined roof with dark shingles barely visible in the darkness. The sky is a sea of stars. Even just looking at the picture of it, I feel breathless. See? You get it. It's cool, right? Super cool. Look at these. They show me more of the photos. Some of them in buildings that don't really look safe. One that has a vague, partial shape of a person in it with a mask of some sort on. The caption on that one says, what's with the spooky mask? For those of you watching at home, we're in an old place with a potential asbestos problem and I'd like to escape here with some cool pictures, not lung cancer, thanks. So this place was built in the 1900s probably? It was used in construction for a long time. Each photo they show me feels like a frozen piece of time. Places with old medical files, places where nature has taken over again. It's amazing. Yeah, wow, I'm definitely going to follow them. The professor walks in then, so I quickly thank my classmates and go back to my desk, quickly searching up the account. I hit the follow button without thinking too hard about it before reading their bio. Feeling adventurous? Come find us. I feel jittery. Excited? My nerves are flooded with excited energy. For the first time, I barely focus on my notes and I barely hear the homework assigned. I'm going to find these places. I was good. I did some studying over the weekend. A little. Not much, though. Usually that would stress me out. But right now, I can't bring myself to care. I spent most of my time digging through the Instagram account of these urbex people, going all the way back to their first post to see if I could figure out where these pictures are from. There's factories, an abandoned mall, an old theme park, a lot of old houses, abandoned hospitals. Some of the hospitals have old patient files, which I can't help but wonder. Is that a HIPAA violation? I can't stop thinking about this. I can't think of a single time in my life that I've been this fixated on something. Alex, are you there? I jump, startled back to my senses. Studying. I'm studying with Finn. Or, I'm supposed to be anyway. S sorry I spaced out. I think you went to another planet, maybe. Ha 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 ha. 
crap, that's embarrassing. I pull up my phone and I pull up the account. I feel the need to justify, my, justify myself. Maybe he'll understand? How can you see all this stuff and not be interested? I was thinking about this. I have been all weekend. I show him the account and he immediately stiffens. That kind of thing seems pretty dangerous. Oh? I haven't done it. Some of the guys at the gym where I used to do wall climbing did. It's fine to look, but it's dangerous. You shouldn't try to do this kind of thing. Somehow I feel like a deflated balloon. But only for a minute. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I like having a mystery to solve, so I want to find out at least what, what at least one of these places is exactly. You'll get yourself killed. I will not. Why do you care anyway? I don't know. Logic tells me I should stop someone from running into abandoned buildings. Seems like a questionable life choice. You'd be stupid to dig into it. I feel so tense, so agitated. I can take care of myself. I'm not a child and I'm not stupid. But we're here to study, and I have been slacking on that. Taking a deep breath, I force myself to calm down. Sorry for bringing it up. We should get back to this, right? Uh, yeah. The rest of the evening feels stiff, off and tense, but we get through it. Back home, there's a nagging thought in the back of my head that I should study some more before I go to bed. But I don't want to do that. I pull up the Instagram account, looking over the photos again. This one set they did in a hospital, I think anyway. It looks like it's only one floor, though. Usually they explore the whole building, so this must be the only level to this place. Hmm. I grab my laptop and open up my browser. There can't be that many abandoned hospitals, right? In the end, there are a couple of small psych wards nearest to here that were closed but not torn down. I'm feeling excited again. I want to go see these places. Ugh. Sitting in my car, the first location was a bust. There was a gate that was open, but the windows and doors were all locked. This is risky, but I'm not going to be more reckless by trying to break and enter. This is illegal as is, but that would be really illegal, and I really don't want to get arrested. My parents would flip, but I might also get kicked out of school. If I get kicked out of school, then I have to go home. I'm not getting arrested. Because I'm not going to do anything stupid. And that feels like a fun place to end this episode off, don't you think? I'm not going to do anything stupid. This series will probably be me doing things stupid, because I don't know anything about this game. So I will just do impulsive decisions, even though the character said she doesn't make impulsive decisions. Anyway, bye bye. <laughs>